Okay, welcome back to our ASP.NET Core MVC web app that we're going to eventually turn into a character counter app. Very similar to the Angular app we created before, and then after this, we're going to create the same app in Flask. That's the whole part of the series. If you're new, all the videos should be in a playlist if you want to go check them out, and at least watch the very first video on ASP.NET Core MVC if you didn't already. That way you're up to speed, and if you're following along, you're not lost. And today we're going to do a couple things. We're going to create a new view and we're going to link that view up to our home controller and maybe that'll help you click some things in your head if you're confused from last video about the whole controller and views concept and how they all match. Now we're also going to look at what is the default controller and the default action when we don't have anything in the URL. And we briefly talked about that yesterday. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any in the future. And feel free to look at some of my other videos. I think I have over 200 videos now on this channel and maybe something here can help you out or you might find it useful. But let's go back to our web app and I'm going to also try to zoom in a little bit more. I noticed in the last video I wasn't zoomed in very much and you guys probably couldn't see it too well. So I'll try to remember from now on to zoom in here in Visual Studio. But right off the bat, if we start our app up again, we're going to be sent to the index action of the home controller. But we don't really know that right by looking at the URL because there's no slash home for the controller and there's no slash index for the action of that controller. But how I know that, if we go back to Visual Studio and we'll look at program.cs and we scroll down to the app.map controller route, we have a pattern here. And this pattern is what I was kind of talking about yesterday, right? We have a slash controller and then a slash action in our URL. And what this pattern here is saying is by default, we're going to use the home controller and the action we're going to use by default is the index method of that home controller. Or if we go look at the home controller, this method right here. Now, if we wanted to change this up a bit just to show how it works, maybe I will change this to privacy. So now it's going to run the privacy method in the home controller. If we go ahead and recompile and reserve up this app, we'll be sent instead to the privacy page. Here we go. And now change that back to index and turn this app off. And now we're going to look at how do we create a new view. In our Angular app, we had an about page and we had a route to that about page. So I want to do something similar in this particular app. I want to have an about page. And so what we want to do is decide what controller are we going to have the about page action in. And for me, I'm just going to stick it in the home controller. So if we go back to the home controller, let's add a new method here under privacy and it'll be public. It'll return an I action result. And we're going to name this whatever we're going to name the view. And I'm just going to name it about. And the method is just going to like the others return view. Just like that. Okay, so this part's set up. We have now an action in a home controller, but we don't have the view, right? If I try to go to slash home slash about, it's not going to have any view to serve up. So we can go to the home directory here. I'm going to right click it, hover over add, and then we're going to add a new view. It's the first option that I see. And here we have two choices. We have a razor view empty or a razor view. And for now, I'm just going to go with the razor view. We'll hit add and we want to give this a view name. So I'm going to say this is going to be named about. And then we'll create it. It'll take a few seconds. And that ended up taking more than a few seconds. But now under the home directory, right, that's where we want to put all of the views for the home controller. We have a new about.cshtml and it puts some basic code in here for us. And we can add to this if we want. So I'm going to put a paragraph again and say this is the about page. And we'll probably add some more info like what this app is really for. Uh, but for now, let's just start this up and see if we can get there by changing the route. Okay, so the route is going to be slash home because it's the home controller that we're using and then slash about. And here we go, we got to the about page. So we created a brand new view, we link that to our existing controller and we changed the HTML bit inside of it. And that's all I wanted to accomplish in this video. In the next video, we'll create a new controller. So instead of just having a home controller, let's have another controller. I'll try to think of a good name for it. We'll create a view for that particular controller as well. And then we can just see how that works. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and liking it. It really means a lot to me. And uh, hope to see you in a future video.